This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. It is election day here in America. Yesterday I reminded you, if you have not already, to go vote. Today I will simply say if you are registered to vote and you have not yet registered, please pause this video. Go vote and watch the rest of it after you have. On Sunday, we read uh, a piece of 1 Corinthians. There's a moment when prophecies cease, when tongues will be stilled, when knowledge passes away. But in all things, love endures. So the message for tonight is to take care of yourself. Be safe tonight and do what you need to do. If that means turning off all the election news until there's a decision, until a trusted friend says, turn it on now, that's fine. If that's obsessively reloading the New York Times every five minutes from now to probably 3 a.m. tonight, that's also fine. That's probably what I'll be doing. Just be aware. In moments of high stress, the, the things that we do that are unhealthy coping mechanisms tend to come out. So if you're a person that has a problem with alcohol, be aware of that tonight. If you're a person that has a problem with anger, be aware of that tonight. If you're a person that has problems with anxiety, be aware of that tonight. Those problems don't take a day off. So be safe and do what you need to do. Do what you need to do because we're gonna start right up again. No matter what happens today. You know, we, we say elections are these huge, consequential things, and, and they are. They are for the world. But they're not for the church. Because here's the thing, the stuff that we proclaim at the church is not, it never can be, contingent on an election. A week from now, regardless of what the outcome is, regardless of if Trump wins, if Biden wins, if a week from now we still don't know the answer, this is still going to be a church that declares that people have inherent worth and dignity, that we are interconnected, that we should be working for justice in the world, that we should be doing more to address the climate crisis, that black lives matter, and above all things that love endures. That can't change, and it won't. Not through a pandemic, not through a presidential election. The song that we started the worship service with on Sunday ends with the next time we see each other, the world will be changed. That's always the case, the world changes every day. But this is a weird one. <laughs> it feels strange to be doing a video update now, knowing that the next one, whatever this uncertainty is over the last nine months, will either have more of it or a lot less of it, but it won't be the same. So stay safe tonight, beloveds. Go vote if you haven't. God bless us all, and I'll see you tomorrow.